So, this is what we have been playing towards. It is time for the final round, which, as always, is general knowledge. But I'm afraid those of you who lost your head-to-heads won't be allowed to take part in this round. So, Carol and Gail from Strictly Confidential, and also Chris and Daphne from The Eggheads, would you please now leave the studio? Sandra, Donna and Jed, you're playing to win Strictly Confidential £13,000. Barry, CJ and Kevin, you're playing for something that money can't buy, the Egghead's reputation. As usual, I will ask each team three questions in turn. This time the questions are all general knowledge and you are allowed to confer. So Strictly Confidential, the question is, are your three brains better than the Egghead's three? And Sandra, Donna and Jed, would you like to go first or second? And first. Yeah, we'll go first, please. Strictly confidential. What is the cube root of 216? The 6, 7, or 8? Right. Okay. 216. Still need to reduce it down to 6, 7, or 8. Anything springing to mind? I think we just have to go for a guess here, Jed, because I'm not a mathematician. Um, I feel six. Do you? Okay. Don't know why. I feel eight. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got the casting build. <laughs> oh, that's a little unfair. Um, I feel eight. Okay. Jeremy, we like to go with number eight. The cube root of 216 is six. Let's go to the airkits. Their first question. What type of vehicles are regularly sent to what is known as the Bovingdon Stack? Aeroplanes, trains, or articulated lorries? Lorries, isn't it? In stacks? Like the M20 stack? I don't know where that is, but you stack lorries. Yeah, yeah, you stack you stack of planes, you have a stack of planes, but I've never known a plane stack in this country. There are some in the it States. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't have a, it wouldn't have a name anyway, would it, really? Yeah, a plane one, because yeah. there'd be stacks that would mm -hmm. change. I think logically it must be lorries, but yeah. um, well, we have to give a lorries, don't we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll all agree. We're not really totally sure on this one, but we think you stack lorries, so we'll go for lorries. How interesting! You're wrong. I know. You're wrong. Is it planes? Airplanes. Yeah, right. it's planes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, something extraordinary <laughs> has happened there, which is that the eggheads got their first question wrong. So you, you don't have to punish yourselves for the cube root question, but get this one right. Which large British bird of prey can be identified by its characteristic forked or v-shaped tail? Is it the osprey, red kite or buzzard? Um, no idea what an osprey or red kite looks Either like. Either three of those birds look like, size wise. Buzzard is the larger one I think. Is it? Osprey is very rare up in the Scottish Highlands. I guess Osprey, but I don't know. We have no choice, Sandra, but to go with Osprey. Okay. We'd like to go with Osprey. Osprey is wrong. It is Red Kite. Sorry. Eggheads, <sighs> which musical artist has used the alter egos Camille and Spooky Electric? Elton John, Prince or Madonna? Dear Lord. Uh, what if it's Mon... I don't think it's Madonna because I would have heard of it. I would be more inclined to go for Elton John. Yes, that's yeah. my gut feeling. I mean, yeah. Prince was just Prince, then symbol, yeah. artist formerly known as. I'm not sure he's ever used alter ego. No, he so. just changes his name, yeah. doesn't he? No, I'm, I'm happy with Elton John on the basis that that's the yeah. someone most likely to have done that. Could, actually, now I think about it, Camille does ring a bell with Elton John. I thought it was with me, but I didn't like to say anything because it could just be a completely false thing. So I'd, yeah. Camille does ring a bell with Elton John. Well, we, we've come to an answer by not voting this time. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in agreement that it's Elton John. Elton John. Elton John. Well done. You're completely wrong. It's a prince. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. So, <laughs> this does not happen. <laughs> this is a very unusual round we're playing here. And I don't want to point out that had you got your first questions right, you would now have £13,000. This has never happened before, that you've got the first two wrong in the final round. So, that could mean you're lucky. Here we go with your third question. I don't know what's going to happen here. Which British manufacturer and engineer went into partnership with James Watt in 1775 to build and sell his steam engine? Is it Samuel Galton Jr., John Smeaton, or Matthew Bolton? 
Jed. Anybody good with trains? John Smeaton just jumps out at me. I don't know why. Have you got any any sort of idea, Jed? I was attracted to Dalton at the beginning, but I don't know why. I don't know what went in the head, but something clicked. Okay. But I'm quite happy to go with Smeaton. I don't know. Are we going to go with John Smeaton? Yeah? Yep. Fingers crossed. You all home yep. against me? No, not for long. So we'd like to go with John Smeaton. The correct answer is... Do you know Ekins? I think it's Matthew Bolton. Bolton. Matthew Bolton, 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 Bolton is the correct Bolton. answer. But there, there was there was actually a famous engineer called John Smeaton as well who was responsible for the Eddiston Lighthouse and other, and other things. No, no, no. So no. You, the, the bell was, you know, it was a good bell to ring. Okay. Hey, kids. How was the Green Party known prior to a name change in 1985? Was it the Ecology Party, the Earth Party or the Nature Party? The Ecology, the ecology Party. party. Oh, this, is, this is one that we're on sure of ground for. We're, we're all sure that the Green Party was formerly the Ecology Party. If you're right, the contest is over. It's been a fascinating contest, but it is over. The correct answer is the Ecology Party. Congratulations, Eckheads, you've won. They play so many games and they, they hit a pattern, and this has completely broken the pattern completely, so... Uh, there we are. Commiserations, but but honestly, what a great game for all of us to be involved in. Brilliant. Thank you. Was yeah, it okay for you? Yeah, we've had a great time. Okay. <laughs> Commiserations. The Eggheads have done what comes naturally to them. They still reign supreme over Quizland. I'm afraid that means the Strictly Confidential will not be going home with the £13,000. So the money rolls over to our next show. Eggheads, congratulations. Who will beat you? Join us next time to see if a new team of challengers have the brains to defeat the Eggheads. £14,000 says they don't. Till then, goodbye.